one. Come here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How was the run? Good. Really good. How was your brain, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> So when we moved into the house, one of the things that was on the top of the list to get fixed was the um, master bedroom door would catch on the carpet on the bottom. And so it would be like, like you'd have to like push hard to open it and close it. It would grind so, the carpet and like over, over time it would start to like tear the carpet. It was always grinding against the carpet. It was too loud, it would wake him up when he's taking a nap. So we hated it for lots of reasons. So that was like top of my list. So finally, Johnny got me sanding stuff and I took it off the other day at the door and I was gonna surprise Johnny and do it. And so I, I went and sanded it and sanded it like as much as I could. And then um, I came back in and it still wasn't good enough. And then I had to leave, so Johnny just took it out and he was sanding it and he brought it back in. He's like, that for sure will do it. And then he put it on and it wasn't, right? This is the fourth time he's brought it in. So we haven't closed it yet, but we're gonna close it right now and see. So down there is where it catches. It's still touching. It's still. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it barely is touching. Barely. I'm taking it off. <laughs> we have to go to the store. <sighs> Not yet. <laughs> it's just, my battery's dying. Poor Johnny thought he did it. It's because he asked me. He's like, are you 100% sure that that was enough? And I said, yes. And he listened to his wife, and he shouldn't have. Sorry. Glad I got that on tape. <laughs> tape. <laughs> tape. And here's Johnny. Back at it again with the sender. <laughs> how, how do you feel? Confident that it, this will be the last time that I unhinge the door and grind. Guys, check out our view from, from, this is just in the garage. Well, I say just, but this is like the best view of the house. Look at all these windows in Johnny's garage. I say Johnny's because it's like his man cave. And then you come over here, and there's this beautiful view. And it goes right out. To our patio with the fireplace. That, but we don't have any. We're gonna get um, what's it called? Lawn furniture or whatever, patio furniture. Eventually. <gasps> oh, we need to clean up all the dog poop. We're having. Oh, look at our new AC. Yo. We just got that the other day because. There was never AC to the house. This is our new AC Lennox. Yay. We love it. Well, we haven't really we haven't used it yet, but <laughs> I'm sure we will. <gasps> Dang it, I'm locked out! I was gonna show you the new furnace, but I'm locked out. But it was really cool because the um, the guy that was doing our furnace, he um, he brought me downstairs and he's like, I need to show you something. I'm like, okay. So I go downstairs and he said, see this? And there was like this red switch and he turns it and it, and it makes this weird sound. And I'm like, what is that? And he's like, this is a, line, a gas line leading to nowhere and so when this switch is flipped the gas will fill your house and it was right by where the furnace was and so it was like an easy thing to like accidentally knock and switch on and we would have never known that 
gas was filling our house and it could have killed us. And so we were so thankful for the, the knowledge that he had because literally like we could have died. And so we left a really good review. Ooh, so bright, sorry bud. We left a really good review um, on his company's website and we we're just super thankful that he was, he went above and beyond for us, Call of Duty. So this is the gas line that Tessa was telling you about. It's just this little red lever at the height of any kid they could just reach and just turn that. And before, when he found it, this wasn't here. He installed this for us to save our lives. He literally saved our lives. Because if any kid, we have all our nieces and nephews come over all the time, and when our kids grow up later on, anybody could just turn that. And if they left it, the whole house would fill up with gas and it would kill us probably before we even knew what was going on. So um, there, there was nothing right here and the gas would just fly out into the air and it was just this weird sound so some kid probably would have just left it open. Our lives literally were saved by that guy. So huge props to him, he's the man. This is the name of the company that the guy worked for that saved our lives. They are awesome. The salesman was so kind and understanding and figured out the best situation for us. It gave us a great deal. And the company Superior Water and Air, they are the the main supplier of heating and cooling systems for Home Depot. So if you go to Home Depot to get your furnace and AC, this is who you'll deal with and we highly recommend them because they saved our lives. Now we need to go to the store because we're having Johnny's family over tomorrow for dinner and we're gonna have Mexican food again. <laughs> we have Mexican food almost like every time we get together with them, it's so fun. And I don't really know what I'm gonna make so I'm going to the store to kind of look around and try and get an idea of what I'm gonna make. Johnny, that has to be good enough. What do you guys think? It has to be done. Look how much he's taken off. Okay, you're done. Okay, well, then. Oh, show them how cool this tool is. That is the coolest planer. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And this is a great Yeah, I, I took wood chop. I took wood chop, guys. And I built a really cool chest. A hope chest. And it's downstairs. Watching this video, all your subscribers are gonna be totally fooled into thinking I'm like a handy husband. He is, he's so handy. His shirt says, kid by day, Batman by night. And he's getting really good at grabbing the camera. Huh. Yeah. Should be good. Don't breathe it in. Okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Go, Johnny, go. Okay, let me help you. Johnny's putting on the door. Are you helping? Thanks, Max. Hey, are you helping? Touch this. Touch this. Touch it. What do you think? Do you want help? <laughs> Johnny. I'll tell you in a minute. Nope, I don't. Thank you. He did it. All on himself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how we talk to Max. All on himself, huh, little? Oh, look at that bird's eye view. Oh, there's a dangler. Oh. Get it. Get it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? I want you to do the honors, Tessa. Okay. And then down here. So that's where it was touching. Nothing! 
I'm so glad that the door works. Yay! Should we go to the store, Maximus? Ba -ba you guys, he's seven months old. He's yeah. seven months old. He's seven months. He's seven months. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Look at him sitting, guys. Whoop. <laughs> Legacies, family, where is he? Look like a family.